We're back playing Child of Light on Instant Replay Live. I've grown a dog in my lap. Yeah, it, it, it was kind of terrifying to watch it happen, actually. Spontaneously. Yeah. <laughs> Just screeching into existence. Oh, talk to the owl. Talk to the bird. Talk to I the did. Bird. I, he said, call, call. Look, look at his top hat. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's, it, I, okay. All right. Good That's job. Great. We went back for a top hat. I mean, it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> the audience knows. Yeah. Oh. The, the, we don't have an audience Whoa, yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I wait, I thought. Let's go get it. Go, go, go after it. All right, you want me to kill the ghost? Oh, go in front of it, get in front of it. No, behind it, I mean. Get, get in front of it. I'm trying to sneak attack it. That mechanic is really weird. Um, oh, yeah, I should probably also put a timer on. Sorry, internet, hold on. There oh, we go. Oh, very professional. Yeah, <laughs> so... Uh, I think she probably needs to die by starlight. She's vulnerable to magic, so that makes sense. I didn't even read that before I decided to cast my spell. Yeah. So that just kind of worked out. Oh, I cast um, under. I failed. All right. Oh, no. Oh, you just got... She got gotcha. you. Oh. That's... Oh, she interrupted me. Yep. Dang. That's and when you have a bunch of enemies that can do it over and over again, oh, it's They nasty. can just destroy you, yeah. yeah. But can really... see that happening. It's where the they, they really step their game up on just, you know, you're not just clicking on a menu. You've got a lot to consider. Hmm. Um, and defense is a mechanic. Uh, I guess at some point I need to tell you this so we can start uh, planning ahead. If you choose defend instead, you won't get interrupted. You'll take less damage. And on the way back up to cast, you'll go twice as fast. All so right. if you know you're not going to be able to cast a spell because you're going to get interrupted, you choose defend. Yeah, I haven't and, used uh, that option yet. Then you can come out ahead. I found a treasure chest. Oh, I found ah, here we go. Now we get to the crafting system. Mount oculi and equipment to improve character stats. Craft oculi. Um, Mix oculi together to craft stronger oculi. Press the craft button to confirm combinations. This is very much the Diablo 2. Mix, Just add put the same three gems, things. Okay. Or add different gems together and you'll get different combinations. Okay. Um, and they have effects. Uh, you can go ahead and equip one now, though. Because that, that, you can oh. equip it even in the base form. And you can take it out for free. I don't know why I went back to the box. Like I, um, I, I left it in the box. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but if you, could, you know, if you put it in weapon slot or in, um, in uh, you know, melee, it does different things. Yeah, I was trying to take it off. Can I not take it off once yeah, it's... You can. You got it. You already did it. What? Go. All right. Uh, there's a way to take it off. Uh, gift? I don't uh, want to do that, that. No, why? Press Y. There you go. There we go. All right. Uh, gift is so you can send it to another player. Uh, another fire damage doing resistance. And plus four max hit points. I think I actually want the damage right sure, now. Yeah. I can see how the fire resistance would be useful, but right now damage is going to apply to everything. I'm going to see if that kills me. Yay, thankfully jumping does not hurt. All right. So we just, uh, between the break, or between the break, on the break, between episodes, I had to show Joe some Tim Minchin because he, he was not familiar with the name. I guess you had heard it, but... Right, yeah. Um, a I, comedian who was, I, I was more impressed by his actual musical talent. I mean, he was funny, too, but his yeah. musical talent was really impressive. But yeah, he really is. Like, he, he's got the skill to go with it. Um... What am I doing? Oh, I should have magic. Although I, I didn't see what the fire damage actually did. Go ahead and choose defend here, actually. It'll help us out in the long run. Alright, where do I... Oh, it's under act. Yep. Yeah. And then, yep, so you, you're way ahead and you won't get interrupted now. Good, alright. Um, there's something about comedians making music that, like, a lot of people say, like, oh, it's easier to be a comedian and make music. Like, you're using the music as a as a sort of gimme um, mm -hmm. in your act. But when they get serious, it gets so much more potent. And I'm sure right. the music does, you know, help in that, too, because you, you can set up an emotion with music very easily. Yeah. But like that Not Perfect song by Tim Minchin, it's, it's my favorite song he has. He has another really good song. It's another minor key song, so you're kind of getting sentimental before you even... Uh, defend. No. Uh, but before you even, like, hear the words, you're already in that mood because it's in minor key. Yeah. But uh, it's called White Wine in the Sun. And it's all about, like, Christmas with family and stuff. That one doesn't hit me as, as hard um, as, as Not Perfect does. Because I'm probably an egotistical bastard. <laughs> I don't care about my family. Get out of here, Joe. <laughs> you know? Um, 
But other comedians, like Bo Burnham's uh, From God's Perspective song. Have you heard that? Oh, I've not. I've heard a lot of Bo Burnham. Oh, but... man. It's from his latest um, routine. I don't know. You don't want to call it stand-up because he does so much. But his latest show. Um, and um, it's basically, you're not going to heaven. What would... Why would you think I'd ever want to kick it with you? There's a million other aliens cooler than you. <laughs> oh, I have heard that. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good one. But when you take something and you put that element of comedy in it, and you just kind of like address a serious like, wait, why do you deserve heaven? As a and you know, I'm I'm not trying to get into a religious conversation. I, I didn't read the tool the the tip when it came up. <laughs> Neither did I. But I think you're supposed to pull that back away, so you can go up from the left side. Yeah, it looks like it. Um. When you address something with comedy that is actually a serious question, like, why do you deserve happiness? It doesn't have to be heaven, because I, you know, I'm not a religious person either. Um, but it, it, I don't know, it just makes me think on it so much more. Like, I'm expecting to laugh at some, you know, dick jokes, and instead I'm forced to do really what consider what I'm hearing. Yeah. And I, I find that to be an art form. Um, uh, don't attack her with your sword. Okay. Why did you get all... all? Because last time <laughs> you attacked her for like four rounds in a row. Whatever, it, it killed her eventually. Look at that. <laughs> um, no, yeah, totally though. Uh, and I, I mean, I, there are some comedies out there that just... Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think of a few off the top of my head now, it's a little bit hard, but um, mm -hmm. movies that have much more serious um, uh, A message, a potent like, yeah. moment, yeah. Uh, Dogma is really, really good. Yes, um, yeah, it's a perfect example, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, Comedy does this really weird thing where it it has to be clever by nature, so it lends itself to unlocking certain secrets, I think, about reality about people yeah and, it, and yeah. it sheds back the 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 kind of the coldness of discussing the topic which can be a little bit frustrating at times and it, and it fills it with you know a little bit more yeah it, it feels safer to yeah. talk about yeah mm -hmm. i'm with you yeah it's good stuff big fan all right what's going on here i was once again not reading because i was good looking work. over at you while you were talking <laughs> so um, good at this game no this, this is another thing that I? uh you know, it's it's so easy to, to say let's players are really bad at playing video games yeah, when you get so wrapped up wrapped up in a train of thought. Are, oh, you have to do it. Are. That's why. Good job. <laughs> it's about? not my fault. It's your fault. Why weren't you reading it? Why weren't you? Uh, that's a good question. All right. Can you make it go up now? Uh, yeah, probably. Try it. Oh man, I'm so powerful. Yeah. Why didn't I do that before? Good at video games. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> and bring us down. I can, can I just that. push it off? Whoa. Whoa. I'm Way to get out of yourself. I'm drunk. Uber strunk. So real. I think there's a little ledge you can jump on over here, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I just gotta get it over there. I gotta pull it. So, uh, oh man. But, um... Yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah, playing is that's, hard. That's probably enough on that topic. <laughs> I guess yeah. there's not really a lot more to say about comedy and, and poignancy in their songs and things like that. But I highly recommend if anybody hasn't heard Tim Minchin or... Or watch Dogma. <laughs> or watch Dogma or listen to Bo Burnham. Check them out. Deal with all of the, like, super immature jokes. And hear some, some serious knowledge. Oh, I need that box. Wow. Oh, man. How am I even gonna... Nice. Thing. Nice. Interesting. Um, this is another oh. thing about this game, you know, it's... The puzzle's never gonna be too outrageous, but yeah. just the breakup of, you know, of combat. A lot of, I think, RPGs fail when they don't have something to break up monotonous combat. Sure. Um, and, and, and this kind of platforming is just really pleasant. Yeah, because everything's cool to look at. There's a lot of depth. Mm -hmm. the, the things are moving. It's not just static. Um, I love the way um, we, we, could, we could probably sit here for a long time and just talk about how much we love this game. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, the, the wheels in that room, they were they were not perfect circles. They were, you know, bent up and beat up. And just right. Um, and in general, I think... Oh, I didn't oh, even man, see that thing. I didn't see it. Um, uh, 
I love beat up aesthetics. Um, yeah. And I'm so excited about this new Star Wars movie. And that's an easy topic to talk about, but. Um, someone, I think someone might be trying to message me on Steam chat because oh. I heard a blip. Um, Sorry. <laughs> wow. Good job. Um, uh. Anyways, um, beat up aesthetics are not used enough. Yeah. In, in modern cinema. Um, all of our sci-fi looks a little bit too pretty. Too fresh, yeah. Um, too new. My favorite movie is uh, actually Children of Men, which is mm -hmm. low-to-the-ground sci-fi, but the world they create is so rich. You know, there's all this uh, graffiti on the background, and uh, just yeah. every, you feel that the world is, is really there. It's been lived um, in, and yeah. by being lived in, it creates a sense that you know, there's something Absolutely. at stake. There's, there's life that was there, and so losing that life through the chaos of that movie, you know, I don't know. It, it feels harsher. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and that's you know, the, seeing the Millennium Falcon beat up again is so much so much more exciting than seeing Naboo's pristine <laughs> yeah. uh, silver, silver ships and their, their yeah. yellow fighters that don't have a scratch on them. Yeah, I um, definitely The clone agree. troopers without any battle wear. But, you know, we're are we really treading that kind of serious ground where we're going to tackle the three um, prequel Star Wars movies? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just... I'm just like, the, the overall I'm, talk I'm, topic I, I want to no, mention here is... I'm with you. I was just it's kidding. It's damage, but... you know. It's... Um, a yeah. universe that feels lived in. No. And this universe feels lived in. I, I it's was... overgrown. Um, I was just kidding. But... Well, I take it very seriously. We can talk we about... talk about the Star Wars prequels? About the Star Wars prequels when we return to Child of Light on Instant Replay Live on the next episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think about what we're doing. If, when we start talking about Tim Minchin and Bo Burnham, if that's obnoxious, let us know that. If you're really into hearing about Star Wars prequels, let us know that, and we'll talk more about it. Right on. Thanks, everybody.